Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today, what we have for you is an interesting look at a new Kickstarter that's coming out. Now, um, I have had some products sent to me, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a video showing you just how quick it is to build them. Um, it's two large walls and a tower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build one of the towers and I'm going to build one of the large walls. Um, I will build both of the large walls, obviously, but I mean, I'm only going to film building both uh, one of each uh, the reason being that I can see how the wall fits together first before I do it I know cheating a little bit but we're gonna let it slide and then what we'll do at the end is we will look at the Kickstarter itself um, and I'll also give you my thoughts post build um, because it doesn't come with instructions um, I haven't opened them you'll see me open them in the video so any Thoughts or theories, or if it's difficult, easy, or we'll come across straight away in the video. But as I said, we'll have a chat about it afterwards, and then we'll go across to laptop over there, and we'll have a look at the Kickstarter itself. Um, so yeah, let's get down to it. Let's go have a look. See. <laughs>
Oh, hello guys, and welcome back to the painting area, or the area where the laptop is, it's also known. So as you can see, that was pre-printed MDF scenery um, from a company that's called the XLC.co.uk. You may have seen that pop up a few times in the video. Um, first thing I'm going to do is give you my thoughts on the scenery itself. It went together really, really nicely. There was no filing needed, which is good because a lot of MDF scenery you get you have to pop it off the sprues itself and you need to like file down edges and things like that so this went together i mean i double speeded the videos just you know for you guys to see quicker but you saw it took no time at all i think it took about 10 15 minutes to build all three of them uh, one thing i will notice i've been holding the wall upside down um the round bits obviously at the bottom to stop it wobbling uh, for some reason, I thought it was like a platform you could put models on, which for the record would still be a cool idea. But no, you flip it over and it stops the thing from falling over. So it makes a lot of sense. It's really, really nice. Um, would I recommend the scenery? Yes. If you play a lot of sort of those type of games like 40k, maybe Infinity, you play Judge Dredd, for instance... Um, they probably work for most games out there, to be honest. But certainly, um, you know, a futuristic type game they work really, really well for. It's sturdy. It quickly goes together. You don't need to paint it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go across and look at the Kickstarter and see the prices and things like that. But in terms of the scenery itself, just from a... Is it worth it? Does it go together? Yes, it seems worth it, and it goes together really nicely. I've dropped it a couple of times just in the time it took from taking it from where I was building it to put it on my shelf, and we had no breakages or anything like that, so that's really promising. And another thing is that the MDF is of a really thick quality. Um, it doesn't have a lot of bend to it or anything like that, which is always a real plus. And so I said, let's go across to the Kickstarter itself. So this is the Kickstarter, much like the website, both links are going to be in the description below. It says here, Desecration City, Industrial Gothic, 28mm pre-printed terrain. It had a pledge goal of 1,000 and it's actually smashed that by 5, it's on 5,000 plus. 36 backers with 15 days still to go. Now you can see at the moment I haven't backed this project. The reason being, I didn't know if I was going to because I hadn't had a look at the stuff. I'm going to be honest with you, I definitely liked it. I definitely think I'm going to have a look at what their goals are and what their stretch goals and things like that before I make a decision because there's a lot of other Kickstarters out at the moment. Armored Digital just finished, Hellboy, Pacific Rim. And there's a lot of chunk of change floating around Kickstarter for me at the moment. But that being said, that scenery is really, really nice. And if there's a set that fits with what I'm looking for, then definitely I will be back in this. As I said... You guys can back it if you so choose. So we're going to come and watch this video at the end. It's four minutes long and I think about a minute of it's a trailer, which is really, really cool, which is what I'm going to show you guys. And then there's a little interview -y bit at the end, which, you know, you guys can go check out yourself. But it's pretty cool here. Sometimes I wish I'd come to this site first because there's a how to build a video for a lot of it. And it says, the kits are made in 3mm MDF and designed to be built with speed and ease, needing only clear dry PVA glue to hold them together. Now that's one thing that's true. I usually use PVA for all MDF. The reason that I went for super glue was A, I had it on the desk and I really, really wanted to put them together so it was quicker. And also, like I said, for speed, uh, for the purposes of a video, I didn't need to wait for PVA to dry or anything like that. But... I would recommend, if you're going to get these sets yourself, using PVA or like a wood glue on them. Because it will make them that bit stronger and it will make your table less messy. Um, I have to explain to you on this is why my table looks like a glue factory explosion. But that's on me. You guys don't need to do that. So yeah. So it lists where they ship. It says our pledge is £35. You get set one. Ruin church, plasma generator, storeroom and line of sight blocking walls. Yeah, pretty cool. This is the one I like the look of, though, to be honest. Set two, four large walls and two lookout towers. 
and that is £35 a month. I think that's the one I'd probably go to. I've already got four, two of the walls and one tower, so it would give me a really large expanse, and it would mean that you could do a really good separating off of the board with the walls and the towers for, like, a defensive game. You can kind of plan it strikey or something like that. But anyway, I digress. Set three. A church, two towers, um, and an admin building. Now, the cool thing about this is that this towers look like they have extras on as well. It looks like a balcony. Obviously, I've not seen them, but I think that's really, really cool. Um, this is the set four. This is the other one that I, I'm, I like the look of, which is um, a bunker right here. Again, with a little bit of a balcony thing and a door. Four walls and two lookout towers. So it's just the upgraded version of that one. And then they have set five, which is a church, a ruined church, admin building, plasma generator, storeroom, and the line of sight blocking walls, and then a couple of towers as well. Um, so that's really, really cool. And then set six for this. I really, really like this set, but if I was to spend £150 on extra terrain, I'd probably have to move out because the missus would kill me. But it's six bunker. Uh, sorry, um, it's set six, and it's a bunker. The four large walls, two lookout towers, two gates, and that's really cool. And then one hex building, which has like a little hospital cross on the top. And that's really, really awesome. And then they've got a set seven, they've got a set eight, set nine. So you can see that they're just pumping up. But let's have a look at what these stretch goals are, because a lot of people get excited by these stretch goals. And so please be aware that stretch goals will vary per pledge. First stretch is £2,000 and you get a bridge and you get two per set and it's unlocked. The next pledge level is for the £55 or the 100 sets. Uh, you get one and for the 150 to 200 and this was stretch goal for 4000 which has also been unlocked. Um, and it's an accessories pack. And then it says all levels will receive these stretch goals. Um, gate and wall not included. They're used for illustration use only. So they're like stickers, it looks like. Or it was even stick on the wall just to add a bit of extra detail. Uh, maybe. It's... Ah, right. I get Yeah, So is the accessory pack. Uh, right. So this is all one big thing. My apologies. I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes. I swear to God. Ah, right. Let's restart this bit again. So, this first stretch goal is for these, which is the bridges. All levels receive this one. The third stretch goal gives you broken walls, and they're the pledge levels involved, and so on and so forth. So let's have a look at this. These are the roadways. These are the ones I saw someone talking about. So you get these little road tiles, and obviously they clip together. That's really, really interesting. I'm going to check this for the more expensive pledge levels that you get these from the look of it. Um, but I'm sure these will come on their website as well. But yeah, and then you've got obviously Wargame Game Online have done a review. And there's a couple of other people who've done reviews. Game mats are you. I love their game mats. Um, so it's pretty cool. So yes, all in all, I would say that I really like this. Um, I'd probably at least be looking at the £35 one, maybe pushing up to the £55 one. Um, <laughs> It's got 15 days to go. I'm certainly going to be keeping an eye on it. Um, I would do. I would go for the £55 one right now, but I think it pops up my bank details and stuff like that, so I won't. <laughs> um, but go over to xlc.co.uk. They've got a load of other terrain stuff out. Let's have a quick gander at that. So dice towers, security barriers, ruins, pre-printed bases... Admin buildings, retail units, medi centers, um, shipping containers. Shipping containers are always cool. L shaped factory, that's awesome. Vehicle workshop, more factories. I love that security tower actually. More security walls, bundles. Ooh, a bundle. 
So yeah, custom terrain options, that's really interesting. Um, so there's a lot that they do on this site, and I'm definitely going to spend a bit of a time pondering around. I'm going to quickly look around, so it's just the dice towers. When I saw game and accessories, I thought they might do drop fleet bases, because that's a bone of contention at the moment, but I shan't go into it. <laughs> but yeah, so they, they do a lot of cool stuff, so check out the website, which will be linked below. Check out the Kickstarter, which is also linked below. They're also on, I believe, Twitter. I know definitely Instagram and most likely Facebook. So give them a check out, which is just, um, as you can see on the homepage here, thexlc.co.uk. If you type any of those into your normal social medias, you'll pop up stuff. Um, and same if you type it into the online bosh. It brings up the, the full website. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Product review, definitely worth purchasing. I'm going to work out my funds to see which Kickstarter goal I'm going to go in on. Um, definitely check them out. Check them out on their social media. And yeah, look forward to seeing some of these walls and stuff in play when we do some of our videos. Um, I'd like to give, obviously, a big thank you to the XLC for sending us um, some stuff to build. Uh, it was awesome. It arrived really quickly. It's really fun to put together. So thank you guys for that. As always, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. If you're going to back this Kickstarter, let me know. Just drop a comment down below. Just saying, you know, you're backing it and maybe telling me which one you've gone for. Um, the £55 one with the four walls looks really cool. Though. So thank you very much for your time. As always, pray the dice gods and hope they smile upon you. Take care, guys.